the opera is about a man has been murdered and we're trying to piece together exactly what happened. This young couple sets out and is accosted by a ruffian and at the end of this encounter a man is dead and a woman has disappeared. Over the course of the opera we hear from seven different people who were witness in some level to this murder. The first four characters are sort of people who are passers-by. And then finally, we hear from the three people who are directly involved in this murder. Each of these three characters give us a radically different story of exactly what happens. None of these testimonies really are the whole truth. But that's what the story raises, is, is like, what is truth? Where does truth lie? How, how does our subjective experience, sort of, um, how is that a filter for the truth? The tragedy of conflicting personal truths is something that I still think is completely relevant yeah. at this very time. The nature of the crime that has been committed is slightly different depending on which perpetrator is giving the account. So as we move through the story, we learn different facets of what occurred that actually uh, were more grave than the murder, perhaps. So it, what starts out as a kind of a whodunit becomes a document about the possibilities of harm that we do each other and, and which hurts more. Is it physical harm or emotional harm? If you piece it all together, it does make sense. Yeah. But each person believes very, very different things about what happened. Our goal is to make the audience believe each person to yeah. their 150% possibility. Absolutely. So that each character is credible. Everyone says completely true things. No one lies in the story. None of us really know the truth. While we're alive, you can't know the whole truth, and that's the nature of being a human. Uh, which is just the most um, humbling, uh, I think, part of the piece. We only have four singers in the piece, and each of them play two characters, and so um, each of them becomes both a witness and sort of a perpetrator of the event. The work is scored for four singers, soprano, countertenor, tenor, bass, and uh, nine instrumentalists and electronics. The experience of the opera is, is like a haunting, and Chris's music is also that way. It haunts you, and, and um, each of the characters is haunted by the events and it's sort of infused with emotion. Percussion became a really big part of the score. So there's two percussions in the piece, uh, a prepared piano as well as a harp, and that sort of forms the core of the instrumentation and your strings and winds. And then you also have an electronic soundscape. So the soundscape consists of pre-recorded sounds that are triggered live throughout the course of the opera that are blended with the orchestra and also instruments that have been affected electronically, and then the voices themselves are amplified and electronically affected as well. There is incredible clarity in, in the music. My idea was that music could actually help tell the story. Because of Chris's wonderful sense of melody, you come out of the piece already kind of having ingested the music, and it stays with you for many days. Yeah. I knew that it had to be dimensional in terms of its design. Um, and it had to occur at multiple vantage points. Um, so uh, what we are left with is a, a kind of a runway set that has two perspectives from the audience. Um, there's never a, an objective truth like you would have at a proscenium or a, a show that, that felt a little bit more like a painting or a movie. I think what's really interesting about the nature of our collaboration is there are three truths that are coexisting already. So there's the truth of the music, there's the truth of the text, and there's the truth of, of the direction. And once we add our designers in, theater is about collaborative truth-telling. The idea was really to create a piece where music and drama and words all really work together. This piece is so efficient and precise in its drama that it inhabits a mere hour. And so if you want to come and uh, be moved and have the experience of sharing space with incredible artists and beautiful performers um, in a very short amount of time, this is the piece for you to see. We need to soar, I cut it from her, my heart kept it from me. Sitting to die.
Do, do, do. 